Hello and welcome back to the channel Izzo here. So my work schedule has been insane for the past few weeks and I have been playing videos super casually. I also did not have much time to record videos I have planned for YouTube, but of course I still want to make gains. As we all know, video grinding is still the best way to get money consistently, but not everyone can devote consistent hours to it. So I tried to find ways and took notes on some of the activities that you could do without being anchored too much on grinding alone, but still make consistent money. And some of these one have future benefits. Just a short disclaimer before we start, these are not the optimal ways to make money or gather materials or even gain mastery. These are just some of the things that I enjoy personally doing. And I suggest that you do find the same thing that works for you. Now, this is not actually part of my initial list but i wanted to give it you know proper credit and that is the login rewards and also the time challenges now the time challenges are the ones that you get depending on how long you stay in the game and bdo has been giving out a lot of these ones such as the jatina golden seal which gives you a chance to exchange for um the shock two boxes also the loyalties that you will be getting every day of course that you could exchange now like they have a lot of loyalty options that you could purchase from and majority of them sometimes are like these thank you packs so you would see over here for example for 400 loyalties you will be getting two of these ones and the good thing about these ones memory fragments now are at a high price you can sell these ones if you want to or you know get the slayless petal if you don't have your fairies yet then this would help you out getting your radiance in a way um not not you know not high chance of course and of course like you know crons and stuff like that and these ones are like the best ones that they have so far sound and siege scrolls also like the fogon scrolls always get these ones as this would net you a lot of money now just so you know where to find the login rewards hit escape go to your menu go to rewards and you would see over here the login rewards now this is where you would see the schedule for that certain event if it's a special if it's just like the monthly one and what they're giving out and you could see that they're giving out you know a lot of shock two boxes and for this month they're giving out the classic outfit box and also the premium outfit box which are perfect for beginners if you don't have a costume yet so if you want some you know to fancy up your character then this would be perfect and then as i mentioned loyalties they're giving out a lot of these ones too and if you are a sizable salmon or you know a big whale then you would love these coupons for your pearl purchases now for the next one it's kind of like popular already with veterans and have been used by most players at this point but this is what you call the magical seed farming so it is kind of like a crop that is colored yellow that you could use and plant instead of planting one by one for the blue um, seed and you could breed these ones and what would happen is that it would give you some byproducts like so you would see over here that is uh, you know that can be cooked into a stone tail father now this one is the one that you could use to um, awaken your t8 corsairs if you do plan on getting a dream horse later and of course if you do want to get the pegasus specifically this is one thing that you would need so you would get these ones and what you do is like it's fairly easy that's why it's considered casual you just like hotkey your breeding and then you would get the materials 100 percent and then replace that seed back again now if you do plan on getting the t10 or like you know the mythical just a, just as i did um you would need the magical fire flake flowers this would give you a chance to get the fruit of enchantment that would be used later on to get the materials needed for your mythical sensors that would be used for the mythical awakening so this is one good way of accumulating it because most of the time at the time of this recording it has about like 4,000 pre-order. And just for a summary, you could get like these seeds over here at the marketplace. And what you could do is like breed them again and again. 
so that you would get like the magical seeds and then once you have them planted you would just again like breed them again and again and you would get like you know multiple ones of these ones you know sometimes you would just get one but that's fine but you would get like the fruits like the byproducts like easily by just like doing it like you know again and again and it would vary on depending on like what type of crop would you like you want now the other benefit of these ones are like when you sell these seeds these are tax free so you don't get tax on these ones and you would get it as um, it is and it nets you you know a couple of million on the side so the next one is my favorite one and it's the upgraded missions for guilds now the bad thing about this one is that you do have to be in an extra large guild in order for it to have this one um, but like if you're in a small guild you can take the small versions of these and that is the bottle of river water now this is often overlooked because i always get this one um, and what it does is that it just asks you to get bottles of river water and this is mostly afk and they also improved it in a way that you would not stop if you, even if you get like the hards or the sharp so you don't have to have a match lock with you um, in order to do this anymore so this is a good thing because like it gives you 25,000 for yourself and then 25,000 to your guild and my guild is kind of like one that pays out you know frequently um, and this is a good thing if you are also in a guild that does the same which is extra money for you to in you know a week or you know two weeks depending on how much your gm pays out so what you need to do for this one is just go to any material vendor get like the empty bottles these are just like 50 silver you don't need like the other ones like uh, which cost about like i think ten thousand, and the other one over 20. um you just get these ones these are super light and then head over to the river so i am at ailton this is my fisher and she accumulates a lot of energy, of course. Um, you could do this with your guildies to share the um, silver. And of course, it really depends on your energy as this is the one that takes, you know, a lot of um, energy too per scoop. So keep that in mind. But like per scoop, it would get you about like two each. And this would help you out in leveling up your gathering, of course, if you do have like a character that you want. And this is one of my alts. And make sure you check on the repeat and it will just like you know scoop for you and every scoop that you do gets you you know money automatically in a way because you could sell these bottle of river waters for 5850 at the current market price or you could do what i do i filter it after getting these one so that you would get your your purified waters and after filtering my week-long bottle gathering session stock i was able to get more than ten thousand of these purified water and at current market it's sitting like near the top and this is about 55 million minus you know tax that would net me a pretty good sum for a week of work and also thanks to my guild i was able to get you know majority of the water bottle quest and i am at 252 million and i you know want to give a warning out there that you know not all guilds are helpful in this way a lot of guilds want them for this for themselves so just make sure that you know you're kind of friendly with your guild and ask them like if you could take or you know join you know these kind of quests now for this next one it's also popular but i'm not going to cover um, most of it because it's a, another topic on its own and it's cooking now there is an npc called liana that has been added to major cities and you need two quests for this one the first one is getting this one weekly cooking about which delicacies and when you cook you have a chance to proc um, or process which delicacies um which counts toward this one and um, this would win you the floramos petals which in turn would become the life mastery scroll that gives you 100 mastery so keep that in mind and this is also like you know free 500 cp and then the other one is like this one the daily cooking striving towards imperial delivery now if you haven't um done imperial delivery before 
I suggest you look it up. It's easy money. It's just basically, you know, packing um, foods that you have created. And the good thing about this one is that they have increased, um, you know, the capacity by reducing the weight of the actual boxes. So you could carry 200 plus um, depending on, of course, like your weight limit on your character and exchange it right away. So you don't have to go, you know, um, 20, 30, 40 at a time. You could just do it in one load which makes the process much easier. And then this gives you a repair tool so you don't have to worry about, you know, crafting your own um, tool if you already have the advanced cooking tool. And also it gives you the boxes of spices and a choice of the milk and the eggs that you could use towards cooking later. So there are a lot of recommendations out there, but what I really love cooking um, because, you know, it's easy and also it leads to um, the Valencia meals that I use for Imperial cooking is either like you know the date wine or like the fig pie um currently i have like a surplus of fig pie that i bought from the market so i'm gonna do that for this video so i have the sugar olive oil that can be purchased from the cooking vendors or like you know the cook i'm in the city and then wheat dough and figs are super cheap you can buy them off of um from the market um even just like you know selling a few cafres or memory fragments would net you a lot of money for these ones and all you have to do is select that one do the batch production and be on your way cooking so one of the tools i recommend beginners to use or like you know people that are trying to get into cooking is videolytics so they do have a cooking xp um calculator over here that could show you what you can do and how many crafts i'm um, in order to reach like for example guru one so if you just want to do like essence of liquor vinegar fruit wine pickled vegetables um which are like the normal recommendations then definitely like you could do that one you could see how long it would take and of course like you would have like the buffs um over here now the good thing about this one is it does have like the imperial cooking that shows you if you are to um if you are at a certain level of course just a reminder you can only pack guru boxes if you're a guru cooking um, mastery so keep that in mind and so on and so forth for mass um, for master for uh, artisan etc etc so you can see over here like you can input your mastery um, if you're a beginner so for example putting it 800 over here and then like it would show you over here um, you know if you buy the box from the market this is um, kind of like the profit that you would be making um, from that mastery if you imperial it and then this is ones for the self-made so definitely check this out play around and then like try to find like the best ones for you now for what you cook it's totally up to you depending on what you see in video lyrics um, for me personally I do Valencia meals because I do hunt for my own lion meat and then I also get my figs and also my dates. I cook them personally, so I do get extra profit from it. So definitely try out Imperials if you can. And again, as mentioned, they improve the weight for these ones to 10 LT, which, you know, for example, for me, I have 202 that I could deliver and I could now do it in one go, which is super awesome. So definitely try it out. Now for this next one, you do need a boat and I would recommend you to, um, if you are interested, get a cog through the quest of the Great Expedition. So it's the second to the last quest, like they would be giving you this cog over here is 140 acceleration and speed, which is very helpful for this. And in Vela, you could talk to Ravinia for this quest. Now there will be three options, always choose the Tinvera one as the Ilya only gives you 30 crow coins which I'm going to show you later why you need this and then also the Okila which is very far would only give you 40 um, and then the first one which is the Timbera gives you 80 crow coins and four of these sailing XP so we are going to be taking this one for this and as I mentioned if you do have a cog um, do bring that one out and you know for example for me like I did um, I do have like my characters, which is much easier for this I do have um, my third character as like a floater for this um, that does this quest like every day um, but for this purpose like we're gonna use the cog so over here what we would do now is head on over to Tinbera Island okay I accidentally took out the wrong cog so this is the correct one and if you are you know in the market of creating your own cogs by the way it's here at port Ephiria, and it would be here at house three five second floor 
you will be able to craft um you know like licenses for specific ones so for example cog um if you want to create your own it's fairly simple um you would just like buy like these ones from um filberto falasi and like these are easy to get so definitely if you don't want to do the quest you could use this one so again what we would do now is of course write our cog and then head on over to tin Bear island when you go over here make sure you park over the top part of this as there are pirates that would shoot out um, bullets that could actually kill you and reminder that the supplies have a limit so you can't wait for these ones so if you are like me and then you know for example you took out the wrong boat too um what you would do is just go back to rovinia um and trash this one um and cancel out the quest for fitted and you would see that it would pop out back on her so just good thing um to remember just in case like you know for example you took it and then you had to do a chore or or like you know um, a task um, somewhere else okay so what you would do now is head on over here and you could just like afk or if you want to actively do it breezy sail over there but for me i just like set um press t and forget do something else up until i go over there and again make sure that you are going there within the time limit of 25 minutes so as you approach the island you could just like you know breezy towards that point where we set it initially again you could see on the left side there are some pirates so be very careful on that one not to get killed especially if your character doesn't have any armor at all um you would just like park behind this stone right here if you see like the barter then you're in the right place park your boat over here and then jump on over to that node manager over there now go talk to him once chat give the supplies you would get these and the 80 coins this is really helpful if you want to level up your character to go to um, skilled one so they would have breezy when they ride your um boat which is like you know the feria um sailboats the frigate the galias and also the caravel if you have that one if you're going towards the carrack or if you're building an alt and after that one you would now head on over here where like it's in lemma island where um Rebinia is and you would just like click over here um, if you see Bolhi, that's the same place and you would just travel over there so while it's, that's happening you can do something else which i really love you know i could um, finish up um, some tasks um, at work and um, sometimes like i, I do want to like do it out at the time that i do this so once you have arrived here at lemma again it is at north of vela and left side of ilia island so keep that in mind it's the big island over here and it's not the okila eye so keep that in mind and then you would see this red cloaked um, woman. Just talk to her. Her name is Rabinia. And at the crow shop, you would see here the ones that you could exchange for the crow coins that you are accumulating. Now, for me personally, what I take is the memory fragments at the current market. It has like the highest um, selling point. Um, after tax, it runs about like 2.3 to 2.4 million, which is above the normal one and if you just get like the Kafra stone even if it's at the max at 30 crow coins it's just about like 84,500 per crow coins compared to 110,000 plus for the memory fragment so you can do your own um, computations on these ones but this is what I recommend and you can get boxes of these ones of 20s so 20 Kafra stone 20 memory fragments 20 cron stones per week and then if you do are you know want to gamble and tap for your um, manos which I highly don't recommend um, it's going to be over here if you want to for 2,500 coins. Now, if you are in the market of, you know, making your own Karak, the Karak materials are over here too. Um, and if you would need the Frosted and also the Fiery Blackstones, which you need to enhance your gear for, you know, upgrades of your ship, then definitely it's over here. And of course, the basic starter gear for the Karaks are 10,000 crow coins each so you know keep that in mind if you are in the market of like you know going to or towards building carrots so so in summary guys those are the few activities that i incorporate 
on my play and you know, sometimes it's daily sometimes it's every other day depending on my schedule but first and foremost i try to grind first and then followed by checking in on the login rewards of whatever i can sell that i don't need for the extra millions then going to my farming followed by guild quest or whatever um the guild is up to but i focus primarily again with water filtering so i can do whatever i need to do followed by the imperial cooking of valencia meals and then sailing for the crow coins um when you know i want to take a break or you know go to dinner and stuff like that so um there are a lot of activities in bdo but as you can see like you could play this game as casually as you want to you don't have to really um you know devote your whole day on this one i mean like if you want to you're free but like for me as a super casual man like you know i really love this routine and you know if you have a routine that you think that you know i would um i would be able to use or the community would be able to use you know feel free to comment down below um, but these are the sets that you know i really enjoy and hopefully this has helped some of you guys like if you haven't yet um, especially for the farming part that one like you could you know i i highly recommend to be number one in your list if you're trying to do something outside of grinding because like that is super consistent so i hope guys you enjoy the video um and if you have any questions feel free to drop a comment down below and i'll see you guys on the next video